Trill, the president's early assent to the 2024 budget. Many commend the president on uh, this development and advise that efforts be intensified to drive revenue to fund the expenditure plan, alongside putting in place timelines and monitoring mechanisms for better implementation. Lara for Lion reports. Reducing the deficit, increasing capital spending. A 27.5 trillion naira budget proposal was laid before the legislature by the president in late November last year. The president had said at that budget presentation ceremony that the goal is to see the Appropriation Act come into effect by the 1st of January 2024. On the 30th of December last year, the budget, now raised to 28.7 trillion naira, was passed by the National Assembly. Two days later, which was on the first day, of January this year, the expenditure document was signed into law by the president. This president seems to mean business. I was surprised to have seen him sign the budget on the first day of January. And um, even though it is perceived as rush by some persons, that says we are rushing the budget to be passed. But I also think that the president is trying to correct the abnormality that has happened over the years. The National Assembly increased its budgetary allocation by over 70% in the 2024 budget, making its allocation the highest ever. As representatives of the people, the argument will be that they will be having more demands, okay? That they'll be needing to do more, you know, for their constituents, which would be a valid argument. Uh, but for some other person who is not looking at it, probably a little more holistically, uh, uh, the person would also say, listen, you know, why don't you, you know, reduce on uh, your expenditure and then be able to put it uh, into some other better use. The budget deficit is to be financed from proceeds of privatization as well as the drawdown on multilateral and bilateral loans for specific development projects. The country has now been advised to boost non-oil revenue generation and encourage more investments across sectors amongst others. What we should be looking at is bringing more people into tax brackets, bringing more organizations into tax brackets. The real challenge is that we are not having enough investment. We are not having fresh investment, new investment, either by local investors or foreign investors. So the president must do everything to ensure that investment, investment, investment is the way to go. Against the backdrop of the president's earlier sent to the 2024 budget, putting in place timelines to ensure quick delivery of set targets alongside proper implementation and evaluation are seen as catalyst to proper implementation. Lara Folayo, TVC News. And the federal government has announced that it is currently reviewing the implementation process for cost-effective electricity tariff, but stated that it would continue to subsidize power supply for vulnerable citizens in the country. It also said it would unbundle the Transmission Company of Nigeria by separating transmission services from systems and markets operations in the first quarter of this year. The Minister of Power, Mr. Adebayo Adelabu, said this in a statement issued by the Federal Ministry of Power in Abuja. In the statement, the minister stressed that in the medium to long term, Nigeria's power transmission grid would be separated into regional grids to enable effective management. Well, the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria says the outlook of manufacturing sector in 2024 may not be a positive one, especially in the first half of the year. The Director General of the Association, Mr. Ajegun Ajayi Kadri, disclosed this in Lagos, where he projected that the year would be challenging, but uh, with a subtle possibility of recovery from the third quarter. According to him, the envisioned recovery is highly dependent on deployment of policy stimulus, supported by a synthesis of domestic growth uh, driven by export-focused and offensive trade strategies. The Director General noted that a quick examination of the trajectory of manufacturing globally portrayed a struggling sector challenged by key macroeconomic variables and externalities leading to dwindling growth. The stock market returns to higher prices on securities after holidays as fund managers reposition portfolios for 2023 dividends. Efion Gekop has detailed reports on markets. Group and LLX PRC. Many market analysts believe that trade indices are set for new records in the market this first quarter. 
édition et TV News, Lagos. Asian shares extended a global sell-off earlier today, while the dollar held gains as market optimism about early and aggressive U.S. interest rate quotes ahead of the release of federal minutes and jobs data. Europe opens lower with Euro stock 50 features down 0.4%. FTSE features shared 0.3%. S&P 500 and Nasdaq features were both down 0.1%. In Asia, MSCI's broadest index of Asian Pacific shares outside of Japan fell 1.3% after a 1% drop in sluggish stats to 2024. While Japan's market was shut for a public holiday, South Korea shares slid 2.1%. Hong Kong Hang Seng index fell 1.1% as technology shares dropped 2.2% following a tech-led slide on Wall Street. <coughs> Now, Eurozone factories ended 2023 on the back foot, with activities contracting in December for the 18th straight month. That's according to S&P uh, Global Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index, which notched up 44.4 in December from November's 44.2, uh, but remained firmly below the 50 mark, separating growth in activities from contraction. While index measuring output, which feeds into the composite PMI, dipped to 44.4% for November, finally reading 44.6, analysts say the trend points to a contraction in Eurozone GDP for last year. Tesla delivered a record number of electric vehicles in the fourth quarter, beating market estimates and meeting its 2023 target, but lost its sport as a top electric vehicle maker by sales to China, China's BYD. Tesla delivered a total of 484,507 EVs in October to December period, falling short of the 526,409 vehicles that Warren Buffett backed BYD handed over. The U.S. automaker's year-end sales pushed, mostly paid off, helping it deliver 1.8 million vehicles this year, which fell short of Elon Musk's ambition of 2 million annual internal targets. However, BYD said it had sold a record 526,000 uh, battery-only vehicles in the final quarter of 2023. And crude oil prices were little change in Asian trade after sharp moves earlier in the week as markets weighed concerns about U.S. economy against potential supply disruption from ongoing tensions in the Red Sea. U.S. West Texas intermediate crude fell to sell at $69.79 with a price decline of 0.84%. Brent also experienced a downward price margin of 0.72% to sell at $75.34. Bonnie Light quoted a downward price review of 1.33% to sell at $77.15 per barrel. And for the OPEC basket, crude dealers are offering $80.84, down 0.49%. That's business. Next is sports. Thank you for watching. Good evening.